Hey everyone! Now if you are bored of seeing the same uh, title sequences every time you open Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, I have good news for you. In Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, you can actually create your own title sequences. And it's actually quite easy to do. So to find the place where to do this, um, we first go to the options. And here, here in the options, you can, uh, under this uh, spiral slide icon, you can find here the title sequences. Now you can also check this box to show a random title sequence every time. But you can also uh, select the title sequence that you want to use. For example, um, I actually have also have Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 installed and linked my Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 to it, so I can I can also select the Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 title sequences. But yeah, like I said, um, you can also make your own. I actually have some uh, some uh, title sequences here that I made and some which I got from other people. So for example, this is the one uh, that I made using scenes from my Mega Park. In my next video. Um, I will just uh, show this uh, title sequence with my Mega Park completely, and then I will also provide a download link. In this video, I will just show you how to make your own. Anyway, um, so to make your own, you go to Edit Title Sequences, and um, here, if you press Create, you can create your own. But um, if you if you open any of the other ones, for example, open RCT2, and then if you click this uh, save icon, here you can actually see the parts that are included with the with the sequence. And you can also uh, load them from here. For example, here we have Cocoa Bayou. If you press load, and now we are actually in this park from the title sequence. So if you want to explore any of those parks, uh, yeah, they are included in the title sequence. I think that's uh, that's neat. Anyway, uh, let's create our own title sequence. So we press create, then you can select a name for your title sequence. Let's call it title sequence one. So that will be the name of our new title sequence. We now have a new title sequence, uh, which is still empty. So what we then have to do is we'll have to uh, load games into it. We have to load uh, save files. Now the thing you should be careful of with your save files is, uh, especially if you distribute this, uh, if you want to distribute this uh, title sequence to other people, if you use custom objects in the title sequence. Uh, it may be that they don't uh, have those custom objects, or especially if you have custom rides, and then they uh, may have to be uh, yeah, loaded into your uh, into your game first. Especially with uh, yeah, with custom rides, this may uh, take a while because they are often several megabytes uh, big. So yeah, for title sequences, you really want to avoid using parks that have. Uh, a lot of custom objects. I recommend uh, not using any custom objects uh, at all. This is also why the the, the parks you will see in this uh, official uh, Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 title sequence, uh, yeah, they're always without any custom objects. Now you could also use uh, parks which have uh, expansion objects, but then again um, some people uh, well, yeah, a few people still play the game without having the expansions installed. So then for them the expansion objects will be invisible. So if you uh, have make a title sequence and you plan to distribu distribute it to other play players, um, and your title sequence uses expansion objects, you should always tell... Um, you should always make it clear that your title sequence uses expansion objects. Now, um, yeah, there are also parks which use uh, custom palettes. The thing with those is that if you use a custom palette in your um, in your title sequence, the colors of the menu will also change. 
So uh, yeah, you, that's probably not what you want. So that's why I also recommend not uh, using any parts with a custom palette in your opening uh, sequence. Now, here's some other thing you should uh, keep in mind uh, before uh, loading a park is that during the title sequence the park will just run. Uh, rides may break down, um, there may uh, be vandalism, litter, um, your gardens may uh, lose their colors if they are not watered. So yeah, um, before you use a park for your uh, title sequence, really make sure that uh, that the rides are fixed. Uh, there's a cheat to uh, yeah to reset the ride age. That's probably a good thing to use uh, to prevent them from uh, breaking down. So yeah, stuff like that. You should clean up the litter, fix the vandalism, uh, etc. So you don't want your rides to uh, break down or your park to look uh, dirty while uh, while it is shown in the title sequence. Now, one final thing is uh, if you save your park and it's raining, then obviously it will also be raining in the title sequence. So that may also be something you don't uh, want to see. Okay, um, so uh, we have created title sequence one. And now here we have to add uh, one or more parks to it. Uh, for this example, uh, let's use the park we all know, the Mega Park. Now, of course, the Mega Park uses expansion objects, so if you distribute title sequence one to other players, uh, make sure to tell them it contains expansion objects, or else uh, they will become invisible for them. Okay, um, I will just uh, load another park in it. Let's see. All right. So I've now loaded two parks into it. Now to make it easier for yourself, I will just load the mega park. Okay. Now to actually start uh, the sequence, we have to uh, go to the to this icon here on the right, the script it's called. And the first thing we have to do is actually load a save file. So when you press insert here, you can choose a command. So for this command, we choose load save. There are several other commands you can do, but uh, let's start with load save. Then you can choose from the parks that you have loaded into your uh, into your title sequence. So here we can see the two parks that we loaded into it. We have Dirkling Mega Park and uh, the other one called Relaxing Crashes. So let's uh, start with relaxing crashes. Actually, I will just load relaxing crashes. I will uh, pause it so you may recognize this uh, scene. Oh, yeah, here's something else you should keep in mind that uh, not everybody has the same size monitor and not everybody uses the same scale for the game. So, yeah, what you show in your title sequence, um, yeah, you should make sure that there's uh, no stuff um, in, in, the, in the screen uh, that, that you don't want others to see. So, for example, this, uh, this is actually a, a bad example of a, of a title sequence, because th this uh, park was really made for one uh, screen size. And one scale, so uh, there's probably something like this. So now there's only the stuff that I want people to see in the screen. But if someone has a monitor that's a little bit bigger, um, he will actually see this stuff outside. Or when you have a, when you show something near the edge, it for the, for other people they might actually see a lot of black in the screen. So yeah, keep in mind that not everybody uses the same. Uh, monitor uh, resolution etc anyway for this example uh, so I've loaded this uh, I've loaded this save game now what you then should tell the game is uh, a location to go to so we press insert we insert a new command with location now then you see this uh, 
command enter with location, some coordinates and get. What you should do while this is open is go to the location that you want the viewer to see. You press get and it gets the, co co the coordinates for this location and you press ok. Now here in this script you see that a location is chosen here. Now if you want the game to be rotated here, it, it starts with the rotation from the save. Uh, if you want the game to be rotated in a, in a different way, you can use the rotate command. Then you just select um, how many times it should be rotated. So if you press, uh, if you select ro select one for the rotation. So if you select one here for the rotation, it means the, the game will be rotated once. So like this. If we then insert another rotate and then three, rotate back three. Then we are back where we were. So yeah, every time you put the rotate command, it will rotate uh, the number of times you tell it to rotate. Now this title sequence will not work yet. The thing we still need to do is we have to insert a wait command. And what a wait command does, it uh, basically you tell the game uh, wait for 10 seconds. So. What the game now does in the script, first it loads the save game, then we go to this location, we rotate once, then we rotate three times. <laughs> so we rotate four times actually, and we're back to where we were. But this is just for demonstration purposes. And then the game waits 10 seconds. And with waiting, um, we actually mean that the game will show you the scene for 10 seconds. So after that, um, let's uh, go to another location. Uh, we go to the entrance, uh, we select get and enter, so now it goes to this location and in order to uh, show this location we have to insert a wait command here, so we, let's wait another 10 seconds here. Okay, um, we can actually play this sequence, so with this button. So if you press it, it will start playing the sequence. We have to unpause the game. So now you can see that it uh, that it starts playing the sequence. Now of course we do get the pop-ups here now because we are actually filming it in-game. But in the actual title sequence these uh, pop-ups would not show. And now it will just keep repeating this uh, sequence uh, for eternity. Now if you want it to stop, we can just press uh, the stop uh, button here. And uh, yeah, this uh, title sequence would uh, work now if we load it. Now if we want to then load a different park, uh, then we insert another command here. So let's uh, load the the Clink Mega Park. Now, to make it easier for ourselves, we can just load the park here. So now we're in the Mega Park. Now, um, we want the game to show us uh, a location, so let's use the entrance of the park. So, after loading the Mega Park, we go to this location. We get the coordinates of this. Now, um, the game started in rotated like this. I want it to be rotated like this, so I had to press enter once. So here we also do, uh, we rotate it once. And that should get us to, uh, yeah, in, into this view. And then we insert a wait command. Okay, so let's uh, play the title sequence now. I should unpause the game. So now the game starts here in this uh, in this garden. Now it goes here to the entrance. It waits ten seconds here. 
and then it loads the mega park and then it will wait here for 10 seconds. Now if you want to stop it from playing, we just press the, the stop button. The game will continue but the title sequence will uh, stop running. Okay, um, we cannot only go to locations, um, some other cool functions were added. So uh, one thing we can do for example is make it uh, follow a sprite. So for example, uh, let's say insert a new command here and we'll tell it to follow a sprite. Now here we can then select a sprite, um, pausing the game makes it easier. So I press select sprite, I select this coaster car, so now you can see a, a little preview here. And then after that let's do uh, another wait command. Let's make it, uh, let's follow it around for 20 seconds. Alright, let's play the title sequence again. Now one thing you can do is actually you can uh, you can press this button here and then you skip to the next wait command. Um, the game will actually um, execute uh, 10 seconds but it will do it really fast. So the timing will still be correct uh, when it skips to, uh, to a different part. So actually 10 seconds will have passed um, if it skips to if, if it skips a wait command of uh, 10 seconds. Now it looks like uh, I selected the wrong car because it's uh, stopped here in the station while we follow it. So uh, I will I will actually select the the other train and that should give us the uh, result we want. So, um, I just select this follow command, I press the edit button, then do select sprite again, and we select this train. Press OK. OK, I will now just uh, replay or uh, reload the title sequence, press the play button, and now I just press this wait command here, we skip to it, you can use the skip to button. So now it immediately starts at this, uh, at this section of the title sequence. And now we should get to Excavator. You can see it here and now it follows this uh, sprite around. I think this is one of the coolest uh, features of the title sequence. So yeah, this is definitely uh, something we will probably see uh, more in the, in the future. Alright, um, now what else can we do here? Uh, you can also zoom. Uh, I recommend staying uh, zoomed in at the lowest uh, level. Just because uh, it will make the game run faster. You don't want uh, lots of lag uh, caused by zooming out. Um, you can even change the speed. I don't really know uh, why you would use that. Um, so yeah, really, uh, load, save, um, location, rotate and uh, follow sprite and wait are really only the commands uh, you need. Okay, that was uh, my tutorial on how to make your own uh, title sequence. In the next video uh, I will show you the one I made for my Mega Park and I will also provide a download link. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it's useful for you and uh, I'll see you again in the next one. See you later!